What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and didn't I tell you all that this was going to happen? Didn't I tell you all that Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith, or let's be honest, just Jada Pinkett Smith, that they were going to find a way to make this all about them once again? In my opinion, I enjoyed Chris Rock's new stand-up special. And in my opinion, I think that Will and Jada owed that to Chris Rock to just be silent, to take this one on the chin, and to move forward. There's no reason that this has to drag on at all. I even think that Chris Rock, after he told his little jokes and released his special, I can guarantee you that he's ready to move on with his life as well. But the weird part is, these two, Will and Jada, they're not going to let this situation die down. Or more specifically, Jada isn't going to let this situation die down. And now Will Smith has responded to this Netflix special simply saying that he is hurt by it. Hurt by it? You're hurt by a couple of jokes, yet you slapped Chris Rock live on the Oscars, on live television in front of millions of people, but you're the hurt one. And then he also says that he was embarrassed by the Netflix special. You know what he should be embarrassed by? Maybe by the fact that his wife is getting her back blown out by her son's best friend. Maybe that's what should be embarrassing to Will Smith. Maybe he should be embarrassed about the fact that his wife drug him on the internet and made him sit down and do a podcast about how she had sex with one of her son's friends. He shouldn't be embarrassed by Chris Rock's little jokes. And in my opinion, Chris Rock took it easy. I know a lot of people were like all aghast. Oh my God, he called Jada a B word. Or oh my God, he said this or said that. He took it easy on them. In my opinion, I think his jokes were actually kind of respectful because he could have taken it or taken it way further. And trust me, I would have taken it way further. I might even take it further than he did just here in this video today. But herein lies my problem. Full disclosure, I have no issue with Will Smith. I don't think that Will Smith should be canceled for the rest of his life. And I'll tell you right now, if Will Smith puts out a movie that looks interesting, I'll go see it tomorrow, okay? So I'm not here to villainize Will Smith. I don't think that he should have to deal with this for the rest of his life. I do think he, he made a mistake. I, I blame Jada more than I do him. And I am on Chris Rock's side. But in Hollywood, when we have people like Ezra Miller literally grooming kids and having sex with underage kids, it's hard for me to really focus my energy on Will Smith because we have people in Hollywood that are doing way worse every single day. But at the same time, there's no excuse for what Will Smith did. My biggest issue now, right now, is that once again, they're taking this time that should be about Chris Rock and they're making it about themselves. And when I hear this quote from Will Smith, honestly, it sounds like Jada talking. You know, oh, I'm hurt and embarrassed. That sounds like something a woman would say, for one. That's not usually something a grown man says in the middle of a beef. Now, maybe Will Smith is taking the high road and he wants to pretend to be a victim that wouldn't be um, surprising to me. But in all honesty, that sounds like some red table talk to me. What about you all? Will Smith responding to these jokes by, I'm hurt and embarrassed. That's some red table Jada talk, if you ask me. I bet you Jada's sitting right there advising him what to say. She probably has her hand about this far right up his butt, controlling him like a puppet. Controlling him like a puppet. Jada is a succubus. If you don't know what a succubus is, look it up. There's also an episode of South Park about succubuses. You gotta watch out for those succubuses, especially if there's any young men in the audience watching this video right now. 
Watch out for those succubuses. Trust me. It's the best advice I could ever give you. But yeah, this is the response from Will Smith. He's hurt and he's embarrassed. It's so sickening to me. It is so sickening to me. I feel like all that had to be done here is this. Will Smith, you've gone on your sympathy tour. Will Smith, your career is coming back. You got plenty of movies planned out. You're going to be okay. Jada Pinkett Smith, you just need to shut up because you're exposing yourself every step of the way. The best case scenario how this should have went down is Will Smith and Jada should have said nothing. They could have pretended like the stand-up never happened. People would have made their jokes. The stand-up would have been popular for a weekend. And then by next week, next weekend, everyone would have forgotten about this and we would have all moved on with our lives. But Jada and Will, more specifically Jada, they're going to drag it out. They're going to play the victim card. And they are ultimately, in my opinion, going to make things worse on themselves. But let me know your thoughts about this down in the comment section. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell like you never rang a notification bell before. And I'll talk to you all in the next video.